One of the characters whose story in League of Legends bothers me the most is Silas the Unchained. Primarily because Riot went out of their way to establish that Demacia is throwing mages into concentration camps without trial and torturing and poisoning them to death, but then also decided that the only character in the entire story who thinks that maybe the monarchy should be overthrown for doing those crimes is going to be portrayed as a bloodthirsty, unhinged, treacherous, populist demagogue who's only using the cause to further his own ends. So who can say who's right or wrong? Maybe the answer is somewhere in the middle. We don't know. It's the kind of tedious, waffling centrism that people often mistake for nuanced storytelling because they think having a point of view is imposing ideas on the audience, as though the audience are slack-jawed idiots and capable of independent analysis of a story. Happily, the good folks over at Riot Forge have a little bit more faith in us all and decided to create the Mage Seeker A League of Legends story, a terribly unwieldy title for a damn good little action game that also has the balls to actually take a position and defend it. If you want to know what happens in that game, I have a full playthrough on my Let's Play channel, but if you're into games like Hades, I can recommend that you pick this one up yourself. It is worth your time.